It's okay. I'm okay. They got it all. I'm in the clear. <laughs> oh, I broke that. I thought you should know. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, this is my friend Lisa. Lisa's Karen. Nice to meet you. And you. Where are you up to? The river. Picnic. <laughs> well, we better get a move on. See you later. Yeah, ta -da. Bye. Look, I've got to go back to work. Can you stay for a while? No, thanks. Well, I'd better, better get home. All right. Yeah. Why? I just thought you just seem a bit low, that's all. I think you'd be over the moon about your news. I am. I'm just a bit tired, but I'll see you later, though. All okay. Right. Yeah, call if you want anything. <laughs> well, so what's going on in the outside world? Mm, nothing very exciting. It's nice to meet Lisa yesterday. Yeah, how's it going? Okay. Says she's going to leave her husband. Mm. Oh, I've heard it all before. This time she reckons she's really going to do it. You don't look very happy about it. It's because she makes me feel like she's only doing it because of me. And? I don't know if I want all that. Too big commitment. Yeah, if I'm honest, yes. Isn't that awful? After thinking for so long, that's exactly what I wanted. Suddenly it's on offer and I just don't... just don't know if I want it anymore. <laughs> if it's any comfort, you're not the only one under pressure at the moment. Matt's steaming ahead, organising this wedding. And I feel like a lemon. Like my whole life's being organised around me. Aren't you enjoying not having to do all the work? To be honest, I feel like the old thing's leaving me behind. I know it's my idea in the first place, but now it's all happening. Feels out of control. Exactly. I feel like I just want to yell, stop the world, I want to get off. <laughs> Why don't we run away together? Get away from all these people that are trying to take over our life. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lee, you've been a really good mate. It works both ways. Seriously. If anyone's kept me sane for all this, it's been you. And Matt, and your family. Trouble is, in a way, they sort of added to the strain. Even if they didn't mean to. Thank you. Help, she's really nervous. Are you all right? Just ran into Paul. I tried to talk to him about the wedding, but he didn't want to know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the last thing I need at the moment. I should be looking forward to Thursday. I don't even know what I'm going to wear yet. Oh, you'll find something. Yeah, I suppose I should go shopping. But the way I'm feeling at the moment, I don't think I'd make it past the first shop in the high street. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't we go for a little walk on the common instead? It's amazing what a breath of fresh air can do. Hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Actually, I've had a really good time. This is definitely the way to shop. Mm. I'm starting to think this wedding will be fun after all. <laughs> oh, I should hope so. That is the idea. <laughs> Just think, that's it now. Got your outfit. Now all you need to do is get married. Yeah, no backing out now. You said anything about backing out? It's a wedding, not an exam. You just said it'll be fun. It will. Just think, you're going to be Mrs. Ellis officially. Yeah. I haven't thought of it like that before. Forever and ever. Right. But it is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, for the rest of your life. Yes. The rest of my life. Ready to disrupt your life. <laughs> Brave or selfish, depending on who you talk to. I tried to stay, do the decent thing, but I just found I couldn't hack it anymore. When did you finally realise that you were going? <laughs> I'm not sure I am, really. I mean, I loved my husband, or I thought I did. And we were happy enough. I certainly didn't plan to fall in love with someone else. At least of all, you You never felt that way before? Sorry, I'm asking too many questions. It took me a long time to admit how I felt about Kelly. I knew I was fond of her. I just put it down to friendship. What changed? I don't know, really. I just started to feel differently. I couldn't stop thinking about her all the time. I'm impressed by the way she's handled things. Really? Yeah. I mean, there she was, thinking she was happily married, settled into her life, and then suddenly she realises that it's wrong for her, and then she has to change it, change everything. It wasn't quite It's like not just that. that, though. 
she thought she knew herself inside out. And then out of the blue, she found herself completely going against what she always thought. People change. Yeah. It puts everything into perspective, though, doesn't it? I mean, me and Matt are going to be getting up in front of everyone tomorrow and saying, till death us do part. But how can anyone know that? Really? I mean, we don't know what'll happen in the future. We can't. Yeah, but that's life, though, isn't it? I mean, you've got to take the risks to find out, haven't you? Yeah, of course. But there's a but at this stage. Every time I think about it, my stomach turns over. I can't work out whether I'm scared or excited or both. <laughs> Sounds like true love to me. OK, who wants another? I'll bear up, Nicky, with the drinks. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not. Is it to do with Lisa? No. Are you sure? You looked a bit upset earlier. She reckons I'm in love with someone else. And are you? No, I'm not. Someone back home? No. I know it sounds crazy, but she thinks I'm in love with you. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know. That's what I told her. <laughs> I mean, you're straight and almost married. Um, I better get going. Yeah, big day coming up. Yeah, I better start saying some good nights. Yeah. What time last night? 